Hey guys, this is uh, this is about how having a stroke is so much better and so much worse than you think it is. I'll start with a bit of a story. When I was discharged from uh, living in rehab and able to go home, I kind of discharged myself. I said to them, as soon as I can walk, I'm walking out the door and that was probably four weeks. So I missed two weeks of more intensive rehab just because I had to, I had to get out of there and get home. <coughs> I'd do my own rehab because I had a six month old son that I have. Uh, my wife was working most days to keep the lights on so I had him a light and his pram, he was six months old so I pushed him in the pram it was almost like a walking frame. We'd walk all day, we'd take enough food to go for an entire day and we'd walk all day, come back, have a nap and then go for another walk. We would walk miles. On one of our many walks to 7-Eleven to get a coffee, I ran into a, a guy who was in his 40s. He was an amputee, he'd lost his right arm about mid-humerus in a motorcycle accident when he was about 15, and he'd learned to deal with having one arm since then. We had a lot of really good, almost kind of profound inf uh, conversations about how having disabilities are different, and. I talked about how envious I was because people could see his disability and he talked about how envious he was that people couldn't see mine and uh, we almost get into an argument about it but it was really helpful for both of us. So there's an example of how having a stroke so much better and so much worse than you think. Basically the invisible nature, um, getting into a, de a debate with an amputee. Um, thanks guys for watching, let me know what you think.